let's hang out in a, you know, <clears throat> retired pop group, Facebook group. Um, <laughs> it, actually, Faye and I had the same dance partner, uh, Giovanni on Strictly. Oh, cool. Yes, and then we became friends to moan together about our feet and everything else. And she said, would you like, they were doing Royal Variety and she asked me to do the Instagram Live with them, uh, introducing the new album, What the Future Holds. So I did that. <laughs> and uh, you know how people do say, oh, we gotta work together. Have your agent call my agent. Let's, let's. The, the reason that I worked specifically, because this country, I love this country so much. I'm not an American who's like, oh my God, I love London. <laughs> like I properly love the UK and, and all what it's about and the people and the sense of humor and, and the food and even the weather. I, I love it all. I love that it's 75 degrees and it's gonna snow on, on Monday. <laughs> um, I do, I actually really love it. So for me, it was really important because the drag scene in the UK, the whole of the UK, I'm talking about Wales, Scotland, you know, the North, the South, all of us be showcased for what it is because regionally the drag is very different. So I knew that UK needed their own version specifically. And um, we were lucky enough to have the BBC pick it up. So, yeah. Yeah. But Answer me already, am I talking to you? No, 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 I'm kidding. No, no. Um, my one line is this, Graham, and you'll agree. I think, <laughs> I think RuPaul- Or you die. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. I think that people, it's a global phenomenon because people need to know that they matter and that they belong. And I think so many people, especially this horrible cancel culture of you can't sit with us, you're too fat, you're too dark, you know, whatever the situation is. On RuPaul's Drag Race, everybody sees something they can relate to and they see a place that is accepting, loving.